Hi guys, so today's video I am showing you how I decorate my Erin Condren planner for 2015. So I'm going to basically take you through how I stay organized with this planner and all of these stickers that I include in it and how I decorate it specifically. Now if you are interested in getting a planner of your own, I do have a link down below that will allow you to get $10 off of basically any product off of erincondren.com. So be sure to click on that if you are interested in getting a planner for yourself. Aside from that, I'm basically going to jump right into this video. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to leave them down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so first I'm basically going to show you everything that I use to decorate my planner. As you can see, it's quite a bit, but I've accumulated it over time. So I'm going to try and whiz through this as fast as I can. So I have stickers here that I just got from the dollar store. So obviously they were a dollar each or a little over a dollar and there's nothing fancy about them. So I use them to decorate when I'm done planning out for the entire week. I will add some stickers in to make it more colorful. I have some of these sticky tab things that I usually use when I'm studying, but I also use these in my planner. Then next up, I have these stickers that I made myself at home. As you can tell, I could have added another row of stickers at the bottom. This first set is all girly stuff, sparkly stuff, just things that will help brighten up my week. And then after that, I have the these inspiring quotes. They're motivational things to keep me motivated as far as working out is concerned and just with life in general. These I will have linked on my blog so you can easily just download them and then print them off yourself. Now because I make these stickers myself, obviously you need sticker paper. This is the sticker paper that I use. You can use either of these. They're by Avery and I will also have these numbers listed down below because you need to be specific with them. This is a 10 pack sheet of uh, sticker paper and then this is a 15 pack and basically they're eight and a half by 11 and you can print on them and then cut however you want so these work really well for printing out your own stickers that you make at home and you don't need a laser printer you can easily use just a simple inkjet printer like it says on there and that's basically what I do everything that I'm mentioning here I will have linked down below with all the information so if you feel like you don't know where I got this stuff from I will have it all down below so just tools related to planning this is is double-sided adhesive tape so if you want to stick something in your planner you can just put this in your planner and then stick that item on top of it and it sticks for good and then I have a hole punch here that helps me with making my own dashboard which I will get into then obviously scissors for cutting things here and there the dashboard that I'm talking about is this this is what I made myself basically got this glitter paper from Michaels folded it in half and then I got it laminated you can either do it yourself or get it done at Staples and I just used the Erin Condren ruler to help mark off the holes and then I just went along and hole punched that you can use a sharpie mark on this and it easily washes off with water and a cloth so that's definitely a perk and I like putting this in my weekly layout and it helps me see the whole week as a whole if I have like a checklist that I want to do for the entire week I just don't know what day particularly I want to do it then I'll write it on here or just write motivational things on here to keep myself motivated throughout the week next is washi tape as you guys can tell I have a ton of it here so this is just washi tape that I've accumulated over time. You can get it from your dollar store or from Michaels, like these sparkly glittery ones I've gotten from Michaels. They were on sale. Actually, they originally go for like $9, but I got them on sale for like $1.50, I believe it was, maybe $2.50. And then for pens that I use in my planner, I have two sets of pens, but I basically use one over the other. So these are the Paper Mate flare pens. They don't bleed through the page and they don't smudge at all. So I've been using these recently but before that I was using these paper mate ink joy pens and they work just as well these are just sticky notes that you can add in and I like adding them in because they're all you know colorful and whatnot and I got these from the target dollar spot now I'm going to show you all the individual stickers that I add into my planner and that I either got off of Etsy or I made them myself so these ones right here I actually some of them I made myself and some of them I got off of an Etsy store which I will have all linked down below but basically they're ones that you stick in on either a morning, day, or night, and they're motivational. They're just random, like colorful ones. So these are similar to the ones that I showed you already that I printed myself. I like to keep track of my daily water intake, and this helps with that. 
and basically it's 10 water glasses here and I already told you guys that I drink five of those Starbucks cold cups so I will cross off two at a time whenever I finish a Starbucks cold cup for the day. So usually what I'll do is cover the days of the week with these vitamin stickers here so I'll add one to each day and it helps me keep track of my water intake and then also make sure that I'm taking my daily vitamins and then I'll just write the days of the week below right there. Next up are these textbook stickers obviously for days when I'm studying or if I'm just reading a book and I want to keep track of it, I will use these stickers for that. Then I have these scale stickers. I only use one a week. Every Wednesday I like to weigh myself and I write it down just to make sure that my weight isn't fluctuating too much and I'm keeping on track as far as my workouts are concerned. Then I have these dollar signs to help keep track of inflow and outflow of money. Then I have these habit tracker stickers. So as you can see, you can write in something up there and then you have the days of the week. So it helps you keep track of multiple habits throughout the week and it doesn't take up much space in your weekly layout for your Erin Condren planner so usually like you can write here like make your bed uh, take your vitamins and then you can cross off every day that you did so then I have these to-do lists um, this is like owl themed on the left here and then these are just normal checklists. Similar to that, I have these checklists as well. So these are individual checklists over here. And then these ones you snip into five slips right here and you can put them in your planner and they're color coordinated with my Erin Condren planner. Then I have these weekend stickers that help me mark off the weekend because they're not clearly indicated in the planner. So I'll just put this on top of a Saturday and a Sunday. And last but not the least, I have these page flags that help me keep track of my blog and my YouTube. So I will usually color coordinate them with the week according to whatever colors I'm using and I will place these in there for when I want to upload or edit a video. So you guys have seen this planner tons, uh, my name's here and then the year and basically I am pre-filming this video so I already planned out a couple weeks and I have them all laid out. I will show that to you but usually I will do this on Sunday nights and it's just a relaxing thing to do and it's fun obviously for me. So this is the week of January 19th to 25th. As you can tell the theme here was teal and gold. I like to pick one theme as far as colors are concerned on a weekly basis. Then this is my February monthly layout. Obviously I haven't decorated it yet. If you would like to see that be sure to thumbs up this video and let me know. I will gladly do that for you guys. This is the first week of February. I have some glitter going all over the place. The theme here was black and purple. This is from February 2nd to February 8th. So you guys can see obviously the theme here was pink and silver. I really do like this layout. Actually, I already filmed this video one time before and this is what I planned with you guys on it. It just didn't turn out the way I wanted it, so I'm filming again and I'm going to decorate the following week from February 9th to February 15th. 14th is obviously Valentine's Day. I am not doing anything for it, but I'm still going to decorate it, so let's do it. So the first thing that I like to do is basically lay down washi tape. So I've selected gold, the sparkly pink and then cupcakes for this week. That's the theme that I'm going with. I already cut the sparkly tape just to save time, so I'm going to just get started. First, I'm going to mark off my weekend. And just rip it off because I'm going to cover the base of it anyways. Next, I'm going to put gold at the bottom here. Before I place the pink sparkly one down here, I wanna put my defaults on the side. Now when I say defaults, these are just things that I put on a weekly basis. I just place it at the very bottom here and I'm placing this before the washi tape because I want the washi tape to run on top of it. Now I'm going to place the sparkly pink tape on top. Now I'll go ahead and add my scale to Wednesday and then also the vitamins on the side over here. I'm just going to go in and write my days of the week below the cups here. Usually what I'll do is I will find an uplifting or motivational quote and I'll add that up here. Now this is the part where I turn to my own stickers and I will basically pick through and I'll pick four for the week and I will add those into my plan. So these are the stickers that I've chosen. I just feel like they work well with the color coordination of this week. So I'll just place them randomly.
Next I'm going to add the weekend sticker. Then I'm going to add these two page flags for when I want to film and upload a video. So on Thursdays I try to upload and on Saturdays I film. We'll see if I've been sticking to the schedule or not. Next I'm going to add these checklists. So I'm going to cut it into five strips and then add them. And I add a little heart checklist to every day for the weekdays and for weekends I usually don't because my weekends are just spontaneous. I do whatever. Now I'm going to add these textbook stickers to every day of the week because I am always reading or studying. Now I am expecting a bill to go out on the 15th, so I'm going to add a dollar sign there. But before I do that, because it's outgoing, I like to mark it with red washi tape. When I'm getting incoming cash or any kind of money flow, I like to mark it with green. And then I'll just go in and fill in whatever amount it is and what bill it is. This right here is basically my default layout. On a weekly basis, this is what I do. All that changes are the pictures or the stickers and then also the colors. That's basically all that changes. And every Sunday I will go in and fill in my schedule, what I want to study, and then just anything else that I need to do throughout the week. Down here, usually I will write every single day something that I'm grateful for and then also my workout whatever I did at the gym I will keep track of it down here so when I mentioned the dashboard to you guys before this is what it is it will basically fit into the coils over here and then I can use it weekly to keep track of what I want to do like my to-do list or even write any random things on here so just because this week already has a cupcake theme over here I'm going to add cupcake post-it note to this so that I can write on it when the week comes around. Because it is Valentine's Day this week, I'm going to decorate it with some extra stickers because why not? So that sums up my video. If you guys want to see more of these and how I decorate weekly, then be sure to thumbs up this video. That way I know. And leave your questions, comments, and concerns down below. Besides that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!